Here we have an aftermarket parking sensor kit, uh, which I purchased from Amazon here in the UK for about £16. And in this video, we're going to attempt to uh, install this on a Mark I uh, Honda Jazz uh, 2003 model. Um, as you can see here, you get the uh, four parking sensors. You can buy these in uh, various colours. And then you get the uh, sort of power lead, the main module, the buzzer, and a drill bit. I think this is a fairly generic kit, but the one that was purchased here was by a company called Sisbo. So yeah, let's get cracking. So first thing you're going to want to do is uh, stick some masking tape on your bumper uh, in order to mark out where you're going to drill the holes. Um, it's always best, I think, is to work off the centre of the vehicle and work outwards. So what I've just done here is improvised with a makeshift sort of plumb line uh, to try and work out the centre point of the bumper. And then we're going to go off uh, and try and put in the four markings across here. So, yeah, let's go and do that next. So looking at the instructions, uh, we need to get a distance between 30 and 40 centimetres uh, between each of the centres and a height between 50 to 80. So if we're looking at the markings on the bumper then uh, we have the center mark here and going out 20 on either side uh, which gives us the 40 between the first two. Uh, we've done those and then going 40 out to the ones on the left and to the right. Uh, in terms of the height uh, they're all coming in uh, if you measure them each individually uh, they're all coming in at around 51 centimeters so that looks like it's well within the uh, recommended height as well so yeah those are all marked up um, was a bit of a challenge try and make sure it was all level but it's always good to visually check it and so far so good so yeah next step is to drill the holes okay so i've drilled some uh, initial pilot holes uh, where the markings were on the bumper so i've done all four of those and now uh, with my drill I've switched to the uh, supplied drill bit so now yep let's go and drill the actual holes uh, for the sensors so yeah no going back at this point so yeah always remember measure twice drill once here goes okay yeah so here we have the the four holes now drilled taking the masking tape off uh, visually looks all right so so far so good now uh, looks like the hardest bit is done so now just let's uh, start dropping the sensors in and getting this thing all wired up so the uh, sensors comes with quite a long piece of wire attached so what i thought i'd do is uh, just unscrew this uh, connector um, for each of these just so you're basically left with the sensor and then i'm probably just gonna drop these in now as so uh, just leave them dangling for now and then uh, wire those up afterwards so yeah let's pop the first one in and in it goes and yep yeah, that's it color match isn't perfect but uh, it's good enough so yeah let's carry on with the others hmm so in the end it actually was probably going to be easy if I took the bumper off uh, which actually wasn't that difficult uh, if you have a look there's some screws up here and then there's a few push clips uh, that go into the um, parts of the body and then there's some screws as well for the inner wheel arch which you can kind of just make out here and there's another two down there and then basically it just sort of clips off but this now obviously gives me complete access um, to all of the cables and then also try and see how I can go into the body so uh, I can already see that there's a few potential uh, entry points here. We need to make sure that we're connecting it to the rear light and there's only one on this vehicle on the right hand side so I'm going to look to see whether we can go in either here or over here but yeah. Um, another thing's worth pointing out is that these things um, do actually have a top and a bottom. If you look at the back um, they do have an up arrow so make sure when you're installing these that the up arrow is well facing up. So yeah I'm going to start uh, trying to find a way into the car now where we can run the cabling. Hopefully we can maybe use something like that and uh, see if we can punch a hole through it and get all the wires to run through. So yeah, see you in a bit. 
So I think we're pretty much ready to get the bumper back on. So um, if you can see here, uh, I've connected all of the wires, just uh, as you can see there, cable tied them all together, uh, going round, round here, um, up to the right side where the reverse light is, and basically made a hole here uh, in the side where there was a convenient little plug, put all the cables through, and uh, went with a slightly higher one as you can get access to it and you can see I've pulled all the cables now in so um, yeah I can get the bumper back on and uh, yeah hopefully start working on the interior of it and then should be pretty much done so yeah let's move on to that so here's the uh, power connector connected uh, so this is basically the uh, connector that goes into the uh, reversing light inside the cluster and so basically uh, this just gets activated when you put the car in reverse and we've got the negative on the uh, black wire here and this green wire is the uh, positive so yeah that's the power connected so next thing to do is to test the module here are all the wires by the way that were pulled through um, from the um, side of the car so yeah we're going to plug this into the module now and give it a go So this is the unit all wired up now. You can see uh, connected up the power, got the speaker connected, and we have the uh, four sensors plugged in. Note that the uh, wires and the connectors have got uh, lettering on them, so just make sure you plug the corresponding uh, cables uh, into the right sockets. And uh, there's also a sensitivity switch, which is set on two at the moment, which according to this is um, for 40 to 60 centimeters height uh, the sensors on here are around 51 so uh, that's pretty much bang on the middle and in terms of the uh, lettering you can see on the instructions that it's uh, a b c and d and i just made sure that when i uh, connected up uh, the wires to the sensors that they were uh, lettered correctly according to this so a on the left uh, looking at the back of the vehicle to d on this side and yeah that's it really um, if I stick my hand over one of the sensors, you can hear that it's basically beeping, so it's kind of working. I'm going to have to uh, put it all in and then actually see if it works correctly, but yeah, so far so good. So that's the unit now fitted. You can see there it's uh, concealed in the back, all kind of plugged in. So that's all wired up and good to go, so just need to put the uh, cover back on and then just work out where to put the speaker um, so not quite sure where to stick it but probably somewhere here in the boot um, but yeah that's it so yeah not too bad in the end um, so yeah thanks for watching and see you next time